Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Bobber Bob here. It's great that you've joined me for a bit of a catch-up video on the Ultra and also a prep video for the trip that myself, Junior and his brother are going to be taking in the next few days as we go down to the Burt Munro Classic Rally in Invercargill. And for us, we're in the North Island of New Zealand. That's going to be in the South Island of New Zealand, right down the bottom. It's about 1,300 k's for two of us and about 1,800 k's for the other one of us, just one way. So that's going to be a few days of traveling together and we'll do some recording around that. So what I want to do today is do a bit of a catch up on the Ultra as to where things are up to from the videos that I've recently done and uh, catch you up on everything that's new and ready to go there. And then just walk through the gear list that I've got for how I'm preparing to go on this um, seven day motorcycle adventure tour. So I'm looking forward to that. So let's get the camera turn around and let's get into it. Okay, so as I remember things from the very back of the bike here, we changed the lens kit out and we put some smoked lenses on. There's a video for that. Um, I've also added these two little reflectors. Now, it's not just to make it all really sort of styly. They are actually required by law in New Zealand, but the bike didn't have any rear reflectors. So uh, we've, we've fixed that. Um, I put these on. These used to be on uh, Junior's Road King. And this bike, being an Ultra, used to have the rails on it. But they were off when I got the bike. And so I think these sort of look quite nice. So we've put those on. Um, if you remember the sticker video, it had sort of stickers and Harley Davidson and Electroglide and lots of things written all over it. But that's really come up nicely now. And it looks a lot cleaner. Um, we took off some sort of custom aerials and I bought two of the new factory aerials for the radio and for the CB, but I didn't want to have just one, so we, I bought two. Um, and they look really nice, putting that back to a sort of more of a stock look. Coming along the front here, we used to have a Kuriakin um, air cleaner cover that looked very busy to me, and I wasn't very keen on that. And so uh, this was um, one of Junior's workmates found this in a dumpster, literally. It's like a 04 Superglide um, air cleaner cover. So that just goes on and complements the stage one, meaning there's no sort of factory um, stock backing to that air cleaner, which I really like. I, re I really like the look of the twin cam look with that style air cleaner. Uh, we've added some highway peg mounts. I already had these on some other brackets, but um, they just fit my feet and my riding position a lot better. They're really nice there. We have a new cap in there on that master cylinder for the rear brake. It was all um, corroded metal. That's a plastic one, so um, that's not going to do that, which is really good. Just um, seeing these here, that's the two oil filler caps for the engine and the gearbox. I've just done a three-hole oil change on both bikes, actually, on this one and the Road King there. And that means that uh, we've done the uh, the gearbox small plug engine oil larger plug and the on the other side the primary drive and a new oil filter at the front of course i've added this plug for the harness which you can plug a battery tender into or well, the reason i got that was um i've just bought a little uh, travel if you like or small air compressor pump for doing tires from harley davidson so that's where it needs to plug in it did have on the side here um some red LEDs that I'm not even sure whether they worked um, little lights that I guess that would shine down once they were Facing down like that. Um, I, I took them off and basically just painted these up with some of that black um, rubbery paint that um, um, Dip your car paint whatever it's called and so um, that sort of gives it a bit of slight bit of give if it gets a stone chip or anything on it But it looks quite nice actually come uh, Cut the wires off. It's sort of come back and looks quite nice Okay, as we go around and look at the front, just put a GoPro mount on. These tend to bubble and get a bit corroded if you don't look after your brake master cylinder cap and the the leaking or the slight weeping over the years. And uh, that, that was doing that, so I've brought that one back up to looking quite nice again. Added a phone mount for the trip. Now, my screen... 
it's just a short wind splitter screen and even on Junior's factory road king we've both added these sort of eBay specials uh, and it really actually does help so they may look a bit sort of you know out there but it just takes that top of helmet buffeting off which is really not pleasant and so uh, we've added those I'll come around this side because I uh, remember I I think one of my earlier videos was I was going to take these off and did these are called um there you go love jugs but it's two quite powerful fans that mount on and are isolated through some rubber to obviously cool the engine I've wired them up through the accessory switch on the dash panel there so I can put turn them on and off whenever I want to uh, I did take them off but the engine runs slightly hot and even becomes slightly problematic to start when it is hot which is a bit of a pain but um that just will help if we get through you know traffic or slower running i could just have that running and it'll um take a bit of the heat out of the engine which is good i think everything else at the front is pretty stock as it was before pretty standard all right well let's just have a look at some of the gear that i use when i'm uh, traveling or, or out, out and about on the bike i always like to wear all the proper gear anyway even if i'm just nipping up the road because you only get one sort of set of skin and it's easier to change a pair of these jeans out than it is to uh, you know have a skin graft basically <laughs> so what i've got is a pair of these they're called dragon jeans um they're like a you know a lined um safety jean for riding a bike i do like to wear like a, a legging just underneath because um all i got to do then is chuck that in the laundry rather than launder my jeans all the time um now these are former boots they're quite new to me they're great because they have a zip on them rather than uh, doing the, the laces. So they look cool, but they're really easy to get on and off. Uh, obviously, bandana for around the neck and up the uh, the chin. And also, I wear this. It's just a it's a head like a head cover. And again, a bit like these pants, I can throw that in the wash um, as that's up against the helmet on my head rather than my head just being straight in the helmet because I don't really have any hair on, on the top. So uh, by choice not by nature and my helmet is a scorpion i can't remember the model name but it's a uh, modular helmet chin up helmet which is good apparently it's an old man helmet that's okay center 10s the three of us uh, share that um internal visor brilliant put a gopro mount on the top helmet bag had one of those for years it's just great when you're traveling just to chuck it in keep it scratch free uh, a couple of new other items I've bought recently is a Brixton leather jacket. It's just really nice and soft, but it's got all the sort of the padding where you need it. And it's got a zip in and out liner if you want to get a bit of warmth for you uh, on you in, this, in the winter time. I've taken that out for the time being. Lots of pockets, lots of zips. Nice and plain design. I like that. And actually just an over vest, uh, which goes over the jacket, which, um, again, just if it gets a bit cooler or the wind is blowing... It's actually really, you really feel the difference of just that one extra layer. Just some of the gloves I'll be taking. Uh, a pair of these gloves if it does get a bit sort of wet. That's not my sort of more weathery types of gloves. Um, these are new to me. What are they? Argon. But they're like a classic looking glove. They suit my Triumph and suit the Harley nicely. I got them, I uh, won them actually. I got them for free just before Christmas, which is great. Harley fingerless gloves. If I want to just do that, maybe in and around a town. Or some light, very light um, leather summer gloves perforated on the back, which are quite nice and airy so your hands don't get too hot. Now, some of my other stuff that I'm taking with me is that, uh, well, we're staying off on the way at my son's house um, halfway down so he doesn't have all the beds. So we've got an air bed and a um, sleeping bag in there. And because that's going to be on there, that does make that lid quite um, heavy. And so just to start with this lot of gear, this is a, a top case or a tour pack uh, bag. Now it's a bit lumpy at the moment because I haven't packed it properly, but that will go in the top probably only with the wet weather shoes and uh, outfit there, the rain cover. Um, so if I do need to go into the top, then it's only for that. But generally that top case can stay shut and I don't need to go in and out of it. All right, so starting over here, I've got some just some headphones to use when I've got me, me and myself on my phone. We're staying on the air bed, so I need an air bed pump, so there's just a little kit in there. First aid kit, power socket to run things on the bike from the handlebars. 
got the GoPro box with a few items in it. As I said before, I've got the rain cover suit. Uh, we've got a couple of those between us, so I've had to, uh, you know, mark mine. And then the overboots. Uh, I've got some jumper cables and then also a, a tin of that or a can of that tire fix um, spray. Now, this is the item that I told you about that I needed the power socket for. So I've just bought this uh, just to check our tires. It's a tire pressure gauge and an LED light that plugs in on the bike. So I thought that was good. And it's only small. It's only 100 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good. That's New Zealand dollars, by the way. Uh, my own charging type of supplies for the center, for my phone. And then this uh, non-branded <laughs> Harley toolbox is just really uh, a set of my own put-in tools. So just if I can get in one-handed here. I've got things like, I've had to sort of put this together, I've got, well you can't really see it, but I've got um, two sets of sort of sockets, I've got Allen sockets and Torx sockets, and then like a general roll of a few different items, 10mm um, spanner, because like the battery takes a 10mm, but then some um, socket extensions, uh, a two-sided uh, socket spanner, and a couple of sockets in there. Just a few other bits and bobs and cable ties and a bigger spanner. So that, that's a handy uh, toolkit. Now, just a few other bits to help uh, pack those things in the panniers, I think, will be just some towels. If I decide to you know, wash the bike or give it a rinse, I can towel it off. Or if it rains, I can wipe it off. And then just a few personal items because all the three of us like tea, coffee. And so we've got some uh, tea and coffee and juice, and it is juice and nothing else. <laughs> and a cup of my own because I like a good serving size and a long spoon to match. So that's just a few of the items. Well, that's everything. Uh, that's just because that's just a few of the items. It's like, well, I wouldn't need anything else. Um, normally in my top box, if I'm not touring, I run uh, just a simple ice cream container, which just keeps the things that I want in it for the day, like a hat if I get off, you know, wallet, phone, gum, ear protection, hearing protection and sunglasses so that'll just sit in the side pannier with my top case being full this time around so i like everything in its own sort of packet in its own um container i just find that helps with the um the way that you can keep things organized um and i'll be packing tomorrow we'll be heading over on the ferry on tuesday and uh no doubt we will be making sure that we have lots of um, traveling footage and uh, hopefully a bit of commentary. I'm not sure how that'll go. It might just be sort of open road footage. Uh, one of the things I can't quite manage to do is um, work out, or not work out, but get the right plugs and leads to record our conversations um, from the headsets. But the thing is, with the three of us yapping away, it's probably best that we don't record that. So it might just be sort of nice, stunning footage of uh, down the middle of the South Island and then back up the east coast of the South Island over the next week or so. So do join me. Um, I'll try and get some good footage. I'm st still learning this whole YouTube sort of recording business, and I want to really do the best that I can. Um, it's it's pretty tricky to, to know how to do it, but I'll get there, I think. So thanks for, for tuning back in today and just looking through the gear with me and also giving the bike another quick check over. And so uh, until the trip starts, I'll pack and get going pretty soon and give you some great footage, I hope. So this is Bubba Bob. See you later. Ride safe.